Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We are back in subsistence. If you haven't seen this survival game, this is probably one of the most in-depth survival games that you will ever see. And one of my favorites, for sure. And I definitely would like to do a full season of this. This will be up to you all, of course, if you guys want to see more. Make sure you hit the like button, get a calm fields. Smack the like button really hard, please. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is most in-depth. There's lots of crafting, lots of building. If you're not aware of this and you're brand new to this, uh, you can do so much of this game. It's unbelievable. He's also added a whole bunch of, uh, well, a whole bunch of new stuff in the last update. There's some wild boar now. There is uh, strawberries. Uh, we can also farm in this game if you want to. You can build. I'm going to show you guys all the building stuff here. There's more in this, by the way. There's tons of workstation. Uh, but, uh, oh, looks like these are new. Wood foundation stairs. Oh, I like that. Uh, there's lots of crafting to get done. There's also, you can make lots of ammo, different kind of guns and stuff. Also some health kits. Uh, Anti-infection. Uh, this is uh, adhesive. Uh, we have a whole bunch of clothing we can uh, make and also more than that, as I mentioned, as we get some more crafting stations going. But it is a struggle. And the coolest thing about this game, you can play at your own pace. You can start this game off and turn off the hunters and turn them back on when you want to. So if you're first starting off, you might want to do that uh, because the hunters can be very, very difficult at the first. You already have the animals to worry about, right? You have wolves, you have bears, and you also have all um, moose and watch it when they're in heat uh, <laughs> don't attack them and also the wild boar too which i was uh was reading that they uh they can have break your legs uh, so you gotta be careful you can break some bones and we're gonna have to be careful with them around there so that's pretty darn cool he's also extended out the map whoa sorry i didn't mean to do that so quickly uh he's also extended out the map somewhere down here to the right and that is very nice and i'm gonna be heading out to an area i do know very well and to start off our, our uh our trek or journey into here and have some fun building and enjoying ourselves and uh gonna be near some water and stuff that we need uh yeah we're gonna have some fun we're gonna try to find a nice location a nice location that's right so yeah in depth survival game if you've not seen it before i'll put the link in the description field if you want to pick it up for yourself definitely worthwhile i'll, I'll put this down as one uh a must or well you must earn your way through this one but you must own it <laughs> you earn your way through this for sure i'm telling you right now it is super difficult at times and you have to keep eating and hunting and mining and getting yourself all prepared uh, as fast as you possibly can we need some cordage you can see here on the bottom it does tell you the recipe you do need which is fantastic so we can open up uh, our area here to craft up some stuff here there we go some sticks we'll do 10 of those for now and we're also going to be placing and making ourselves some cordage we can make one currently we'll have to find more of that those little weeds, they're not easy to find when you first start the game, but you'll get used to it. Look at all this fine stuff. Look at that beautiful stuff. It is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Yeah, I need a bow ASAP. ASAP, please. All right, take all that. Thank you very much. And yeah, we need to get bows so we can start hunting a tiny bit and keeping ourselves alive. Now, we need more cordage to do that. And uh, yeah, this is the stuff you need for the cordage. So yeah, see the chicken on the right? We could run after him and try and grab him. That's for sure. Just gonna make my way to this because I'm following the lock crates in the cortege uh, to keep yourself alive. Now you can see there was a is that a crate or just an animal? Oh no, some scrap. All right, cool. Uh, we have uh, some bears in front of us. You gotta be very very careful. And that's a wolf that's behind us. Be very very careful. The first growl is a warning. Second one is uh, I'm on your butt and I'm gonna chew you up and eat you up. Uh, yeah, they can very quickly too. So be careful. He can start walking towards you after the first growl and such. So be careful. What are you doing? All right, we're grabbing nails and stuff we do need quite a bit of. Uh, there's some wolves there. From what I've been reading in notes, it looks like if you see a lot of wolves, you're not going to see the boars. It's supposedly they replaced the boars. Uh, sorry, the wolves uh, from uh, what I've been reading. So that'd be very cool. We'll have to see that. I do want to see these wild boars. They are not, uh, well, they won't attack you unless they're cornered or attacked upon. Just like the moose, I believe. So we're going to have to test that out, that theory. <laughs> Much later on. Okay. Can I make some more cordage here? Let's do this. Let's get ourselves prepared. We're going to need to make a platform, a bunch of stuff uh, for us to get going. I am grabbing tons of wood because we're going to need that for fire. Uh, we'll have to make ourselves a fire and make ourselves platforms and stuff. So each one of these, as you can see, has different amounts you can grab off the trees. The bigger ones here, but four. Oh, crap. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. All right. I'll, I'll choose another direction, please. Thank you very much. All right. Right over here. Let's just grab some loot. Now, we did start building last time right down here, which is a really pristine location. 
I like it very much, but uh, again, limited on the amount of space I can build. And you know how I like to build, right? Go big or go home. Mm -hmm. So we would definitely like to build a little bigger. Let's just crouch down so we can stealth ourselves a tiny bit. Grab that. Yeah, this game is wicked. It does start you off with a gun. If you guys didn't see that. Very nice. A little bit of protection at the start. Some bandages. And of course, uh, you got to ground and get these crates and such. Hopefully, we can get lucky. Now, there's some medicinal plants right in front of us. That is good, too. We'll be able to make some goodies with that. And I'm just looking for crates right now to make sure we can get a good start here. Already is not bad. We've got some pretty good nails. Is that 31? Yeah, it is. Yeah, 31 nails. Wow. Oh, that's been nice to grab. I'm going to grab a little more cordage for that to happen, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, let's make a couple more there and then uh, to make the final bow we're still missing two more cords so yeah we have one crafting one more to come everything takes a little bit of time for crafting of course so yeah keep uh, hitting up wood now there's seasons in this game there's weather effects of course too that will affect you as a player you have to get some clothes on you and uh, you'll have to also make sure you know what time of the year it is that's so very very important you see if i press the tab button right there on top it does tell you that now they want me to craft some planks too we have enough wood and you can do that too. This is actually a little, little start. You have to do a little tutorial if you want to. And yeah, we'll do five. Let's make them happy. And yeah, again, this developer is a lone developer. If you're not aware, his name is Cole Games. I've uh, been playing this game since it first, well, even before it came out on Steam, I was playing it way before it. It was, uh, you know, an amazing closed time of playing the game uh, before Hunters were here. And I fell in love with this game the first time I played it. I, I really did. I also, I have to say, I admire very much this developer. Very consistent. Uh, very, very good at what he does. So, yeah, as you guys must know, most of you do know that. Uh, but, you know, if you're brand new to this, this is pretty darn interesting to get into. We're going to hit up a lot of wood, yes, because you do need it in survival. And I, I want to get as much as possible done. Just got to find a little more cordage. There you go. Do I have enough for another one? Do I have two? Oh, I have only one. Okay. There's a crate on top of that rock right there. There's also animals on the other side. I'm not sure if I can reach this from this area. No, there's some animals on the other side. I can jump if you want to, but it, it just you kind of gets... Uh, you got to be careful. You got to also build yourself a platform. There is a way up on the other side, uh, but I'm not uh, willing to mess around with any wolves or animals right now this early on. We'll try and uh, build a smaller prey, like uh, rabbits and stuff would be kind of nice. All right, let's do this here. Oops, right there, cordage craft that up we'll craft two up while we're still doing it once that finishes i'll be able to make this bow and then we'll be able to make ourselves some arrows i should, probably should have crafted the arrows while i was waiting i did make enough sticks for that so we can make that happen too let's make the bow come on buddy boom there you go so everything's a recipe there very easy to do uh we're gonna need to find feathers we only have one but one is good to start off with if we get lucky we'll find another one in the chest but uh yeah we can chase down chickens and rip those uh feathers off which is horrible but you know survival you gotta do is what you gotta do is to stay alive right we just looped around in a circle but it's because i saw some stuff back here and i'm hoping the bears and a lot would wander around now, the animals do wander around they won't just stay here forever that's a lot of freaking animals dudes that's more than i want to start plucking around at right now this early on I really can't defend myself much. I do have a gun, of course, it's, but uh, different level animals too you have to be careful for. So what I'm talking about that is level one, two, and three, and they can get bloody hard to ten. <laughs> so be careful. If they kill you, they level up. I think there's an animal on me. Yeah. You see, my gun is not at 100% either. It's uh, been worn down and broken. You have to repair some of these items like this. If you right-click on this. You should be able to unload, of course, and repair. Repair tells you what you need, some boards and some scrap. Uh, we'll hold off on that right now. There's another crate up here. You can see it from a distance. And, yeah, there's a chicken right there, and that's what we need. Okay, let's just switch this up probably because I didn't have it where I want it. Gun, glow stick, and, of course, axe. There we go. Hopefully my bow skills are good enough to hit this one chicken. It's been a while. Got him. Booyah. All right. And he'll give me more feathers. Now, my arrows do break, which I hope that one day you'll change that. And let's butcher this up. We've got a couple more arrows. Not much, do I? Did we get back an arrow? I don't know. Feels like we did. Oh, no, it's the iron one, isn't it? Is it? Small game. No, that's the same one. 
I'm not sure if we got it back. I didn't really concentrate if that's something uh, was done. Now, arrows are also, you need nails, so that's why I'm so excited about when I see nails. Also for building, and so many things. There we go, look at that, beautiful crates. Just stunning loot crates popping up here all over the place. And uh, some of this, and some of that. And we're going to find ourselves a place to settle down soon. I think I saw something right there. There is a wolf. <sighs> now, I'm not sure if the boars are random, if they're just randomized all over the map. Uh, but if it's small specific locations, I heard it was near forest. But pretty much everything is forest the area. So, I don't know. There's tons of uh, trees everywhere here. I was hoping to see one early on. Also, the strawberries, I think, that was taken grow in the summer months. So, you'll be able to find those. I'm not sure if you can plant those or not. We can, again, make our own farms. Now, you gotta watch out for a stem on the bottom right. If you're not aware, you see it's uh, my stem's dropping like crazy there on the bottom. You gotta get, let it regenerate, or else you get self screwed over. Now, it's keeping good nutrition and stuff, of course, it can be extremely important. Uh, we also have our hunger bar and everything that we have to be careful for. If you tab here, this is bad news, you see. Uh, right on top here, this is our proteins. We need to make sure you get meat and nuts, uh, fruits and vegetables, and of course, some hydration and water, which we have a little bit of water right here. We can drink this up. You can also press E on this if you want to, just like that. We'll eat that up. Now we found the apple in a crate, not mistaken. Not positive that came with it or not, but yeah, I think it did. Okay, we're just gonna grab some water here. We'll grab the flask. And there you go. Just press E on top of that, and there you go, you got that. There's also some kelp in here, which is good. Oh, well, some clams too. <laughs> uh right over here, we're gonna worry about that afterwards. The clams, I have no room for that right now. There's no meat or anything inside of it. There's little pearls. Now, these things here will give you some uh, ooh, carbohydrates you need to survive. Fruit vegetables. Fruit and veggies. There should be about four in here. Sometimes it's harder to see. I'm not sure if the clams took over some spawn spots on that. I'm not seeing any more right now. All right. This is a great place to build, by the way. I do love this area here. There's a lot of flat land right next to it. Uh, I was debating to build right here on this side and then build my way out on this here. So that's possible. We might be doing that. I just got to find myself a couple more animals if I can. We are wet. You see on the right hand side. So ready right there he says wet on the right side where the bow is. Uh, yeah, you, you can actually get yourself like heat, of course, heat exhaustion. You got to be very careful. I'll tell you if you're hot, cold. Very nicely put together game. Every time there's an update, there's always something new and more uh, impressive about the game as you get through it. So yeah, I thought, you know what? It's time for us to play a real survival game too. We have been playing some, but they're not the same as what we're finding now these games. These games are just, you know, there's some that are just not refined. This one is definitely refining itself. I saw a rabbit here. Got him. We'll keep him alive and kicking. Not sure I got the arrow back for that one. I didn't even check to see. Okay, we have four. Not positive. Not positive. All right, grab you. We'll make some more cordage while we're waiting for this. There's some more crates there on the left-hand side. Let's get those. Let's craft that. Ah, oh, shite. A wolf. And I can't fight that one. That's a level three wolf. We want to avoid it. He's got that crate. That's his. We can run him off. If we want to, we can run him away from this area. Possibly got the other arrow from a, a, crate, a crate like we just did now. We got lucky. Crikey. Crikey crate. Because I don't believe we get the arrows back. I really don't. I don't think he put that in. All right. There is. He's leaving that crate now. He's going to stop for a bit. He may start walking the opposite direction by feeling he's going to come back this way. No, he's going. He's going to smell us, though, I think. If we. Uh... Okay, he's smelling because we're crouching now. It's a little harder. Okay, get the freak out of Dodge, dude. Oh, I'll take some of that. So those are blueberries. Very nice. Is he still coming? No, he's not. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm thinking I can go back to there. Now, I did enjoy my build up here once before, but I think I want to go somewhere comfortable back there. I'm just going to double check this area here. Sometimes it gives some good loot spawns. But it's very randomized. All right, let's take a little break. Let's get our stamina back. Same time we can 
check out the area. So beautiful. The game, he's just making it look more and more incredible. Like a little haze in here. This is March currently, so yeah, it's a little spring. You can also choose how many days in the year you want to put it on. Alright, there's a wolf there again. We will be hunting those sons of beeswax, don't get me wrong. Uh, once we're a little more comfortable. Now these trees here are fantastic. I love these trees. Did I hear something? I thought I heard something. It's four wood. There is a bigger trees on top. Uh, they're called... Uh, oh, Frig, that's a bear. I just saw it inside my eye. I went, whoa. Getting a little too close, dude. Very close. Yeah, so the happy trees, are. I call them happy trees because they're very nice. They give you tons of good loot on happy mountains. The first time I ever, well, I ever went through it, of course. And yeah, they give you grubs, too. They're very nice. They're plentiful. They give you tons of goodies. Just a little more wood. We'll get some more planks going. What do they want us to do here? Create foundation. Yeah. We'll make a foundation very shortly. I guarantee you. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to go back to that area. Now that we did a little loop around here. We'll double check the little hillside. Bring us all back around and we should be good to go. There's some more. No, that's just. These definitely made. What was that? Yeah, it is. We're going to eat well tonight, I think. Yes, we are. And we're built to make ourselves a couple more. Feathers. That's very good. All right, we'll keep that going. We'll keep them alive and kicking as long as we can. Now you can use um, here, there's different kind of rocks and ores you can kind of harvest. Best to use yourself, a, of course, a pickaxe. Uh, early on, you can craft one if you want to, if you have the right stuff for it, of course. Very, very important. And we'll do two, three, four, five. We're gonna need more trees. Now the pickaxe will be completed and what we can do is start doing this. Now you can use the ax if you want to, you can. Uh, just be careful, it does wear away after a while, these axes, they can wear down. So be careful with that. Uh, there's a bar right there on the bottom. You can see it. And uh, did I get my uh, pickaxe? Oh, I just went by hot bar. Beautiful. And the same thing for these, but at least you get more. And uh, this stuff we'll be using for crafting later on. But you know what? It never hurts to go and grab a little bit early on, you know? Now, iron ore is the one we want and copper. But she early on again. Always early on. Okay. My footsteps, right? Yeah. <laughs> I get used to my footsteps making that noise. I don't know why. Just freaked me out a little bit. Keep our gun out and ready to go just in case. That's the tree I was talking to you guys about. We grabbed it beforehand. That gives you a grub right here. You can use those for fishing or you can just slap them down. If you hover over items that you can eat, by the way, it does tell you everything. I'm just going to go away from the bear and show you that right here. You can hover over it and it tells you exactly proteins, fruits, and hunger and how much it replaces. Not much. It does, uh, those grubs do suck down your hydration though, so be careful. All right, hopefully we can make our way back through here. We'll start building right down there. We'll grab ourselves a couple more trees. Ah, oh, crap, this wolf, I swear to God, he's been in my arse all the way through this. He did move himself around a tiny bit. Now he's on that side also being here. So that's a good thing in a way. All right, let's get our way right through down the middle. There's some more cordage there on the left. We do need it much as possible so there's some mining there's some crafting there's tons of stuff you can do in this game i'd say it's pretty much one of the ultimate uh, survival games out there one of the best if you really are looking for a true survival you like journey of life and those kind of things this one is definitely more refined and kicks it up a notch it really does there's tons of machinery and stuff you can there's a lathe if i'm not mistaken uh, there's a, the workbenches we have. Uh, God, there's uh, tons of stoves, uh, cooking, uh, <laughs> everything you can think of. All right, so I grabbed a whole bunch of little trees here and there, trying to grab as much as we possibly can. We'll grab a few more, and then we'll get ourselves a building ASAP. Same time we're looking at that. Let's look at the foundation we need to make to keep ourselves safe for the night. We'll craft that baby up. We'll keep it going. I'm going to take up a couple of wood planks and such, so you kind of be careful. Now, this BCU, once you place this BCU down, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up, well, starting a uh, the hunters. So they're going to spawn in in the next couple of days after you place it down. So if you're starting off and you want to do this, wait until you place this. It does give you more options for crafting and such. So just be careful when you're ready to do it. Uh, for now, we're going to need some more planks. We're going to get some walls done too. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten of those. And we're also going to need to make a fire. 
which is going to be extremely important right over here there we go a little fire and it needs a couple of sticks four sticks and four locks let's craft those babies up yeah those sticks are handy as heck i tell you <laughs> nails and such are all very good now i haven't found any crates since i've uh, come back we've uh, rotated back to this fine little pond which i do love a whole lot trust me i, I do a ah, heck of a lot uh it's a great little location for sure but we're gonna build to the left of it this time for now and then we're gonna find maybe another place to build i'm not sure if we're gonna stick here or not i i'd have to make a decision i do like these reeds and stuff i, I love the way this looks it looks beautiful this area and right here is one of my favorite ones too to build in it has quite a bit of space to kind of move out and we can also go up a hill and stuff from here uh, for freak's sake and there's a friendly wolf right there for us to have fun with so that's fantastic uh what i do like is that we're near water and that's where we're gonna need to start with so yeah let's get ourselves in an angle here we're gonna place down this thing here so great thing about this building process you can you can whoop, use your number pet if i get back to it sorry there we go if you go back to your number pads and stuff you'll see the bottom right does tell you you can move this out in uh you can rotate them if you want to so very very cool especially if it's far away you can bring it really far uh, i found it very useful extremely useful you can also lift it up and bring it up a little higher if you want to which i do like a little bit oh, just a tiny bit will be very sweet and this will be like our starter area anyways so yeah we'll get some stairs there maybe and boom just like that very simple now we need to fire it down and uh yeah well, fire should be completed by now no it's not i saw some planks being made all right, we'll cancel out a couple of planks. We'll let this uh, continue. We're going to have to make ourselves some grub, and we also need to boil our water and get ourselves going. A uh, wall would be nice, too. We're going to need to put up a wall. I'm just trying to finish up this to make sure. Place a base command unit. Now, that's that's the thing. you got to be tricky. If you're ready for that, then do it. I, I kind of like to wait for the next day. I mean, <laughs> just one day away from it being perfectly fine out. If you don't like where you place this, by the way, very very cool option you see the bottom right again you can press end or dismantle and delete you get a half your stuff back and we're gonna press end and we can bring it out here if we want to and just push it right there just like that again you can always just take it out and place it somewhere else without it going click 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 uh but it's really your choice it's really cool so yeah i'm gonna bring it back i just want to show you that there we go place her here then we can grab her back and place her properly but I love that we can pick up things and move them as we want to, because that's definitely an issue with most uh, games we have to play, especially in this genre. I think we're going to go like this. And a little high. There we go. Just enough for me to hop on. All right. Not so bad. Okay, we, so we should have the wall ready to go and uh, fire too. Let's put up a wall here for now. And again, you'll see a little lip on the inside. That little lip there. It tells you where the inside is at so just try and look for that little board on the bottom there that one there on the bottom here all right so there you go we're gonna need to get a fire going i'll place that down near the water all right so we have the medicinal here we're gonna leave that for now i'm actually running out of time so we're gonna put up some ignition there we'll put the two matches inside you can stack them there just for now we were lucky enough to have some and we'll grab some wood here and just fill it up ignite simple as a pie all right, at the same time, we're also going to grab here and butcher this. And we'll give ourselves tons of protein we need. Now, each one of these here, curly, raw, again, you have a chance of, uh, of course, getting sick, so be careful. You can get food poisoning. Uh, we have, of course, this down. It'll get better as we cook it through. And same thing for this. So I don't know if we should cook up all these suckers or not. I don't know. All right, so we'll, we'll figure it out. Do this one, two. We have uh, two of the fine arrows now being crafted. Uh, we're down to the one stick we can craft more of those as we go and butch also this is great you got to keep this ash early on it's going to help you out for farming later on it's going to be very nice there you go our water is done this is to us boom and butcher we'll just eat a whole lot because this can't really keep it anyways it'll get bad even if in its form of a full wrap there oh perfect yes thank you now bottom right is right here the proteins eat those now, the other thing I have to worry about right now is that we have, of course, the uh, the problem right now currently uh, with our actual uh, fruits and vegetables, too. That's going to be an issue. And we have some of this. Now, when you have water bottles, the other kind of water bottles, you can and put in this. The, sometimes you find these plastic water bottles, and you can put these uh, berries in and add, like, berry water. Very nice. I wonder if you could do it with the strawberries. Watch out. You can burn your food, by the way. I'll grab this off to show you guys right here. So now it's cooked 18 protein. Fruits and vegetables give you two. 
which I don't know how. Uh, what well, gives us carbs and uh, hunger plus 14 and hydration minus one. It gives also health plus five, 0.05 and uh, maximum stamina 0 0.05. So very cool. And you can see my bar is going up nicely. These ones here are the rabbit. And the same thing here, 20. So obviously the rabbit give you more bang for your buck. And we'll just fill our bellies up, which we're going to have to end up doing a whole lot of anyway. So yeah, I figure we're going to have to do that. Good. So we'll keep that going with the ash. It does stack up quite a bit, so we'll be fine. Uh, we have a grub too if we want to. We also have these fine uh, kelp, which we found in the water. It gives you nine fruits and vegetables. Hunger and hydration goes down again. You have to be careful for hydration. Uh, we'll do is we'll drink. A tiny bit. Let's press E on top of that. Fill that baby up. You can always right-click on it too if you want to. Boom. And let that go. You can craft more of those canteens. It is bloody dark, by the way. And it's impossible for me to get back up on the side. Can I make those narrow? Yeah, it costs less. Let's try and see where that goes. It goes left or right of this. If it, if I can place it on either side, the other stairs take the whole exact, the entire uh, foundation size. So I'm wondering if this would be nice to have a little bit of a side one. And we'll see something brand new. There's also some more pieces like this one here, wooden wall, uh, half verticals. I think they did the same thing in glass too. So very nice. Yeah, that's much better. Right on the side of it. Perfect. So we got our fire and stuff. We're going to kind of hold ourselves off and kind of relax. It isn't, well, primo to have this with an animal, of course, covering right up here and take you out. But it's okay. We can make doors and such. I don't think we can make angled doors. Now we have this. Does it give you, like, the ability to do doorways? But can you put them left or right? Because or else, yeah, I don't think he put that in yet. He's going to need to put that in. If you have these stairs, we're going to need to have maybe an ability to have a left or right of a this maybe I'm wrong maybe it's here and I don't see it but I, I really don't see it uh, maybe with a vertical wood wall I don't know we'll have to figure it out we'll keep our water going we'll stick the night and chillax and tomorrow we'll head out and do a little more looting and get ourselves going and trying to build up our base so very very nice good day we started pretty decent again we could do better with fruit and vegetables I got it uh the other thing we want to make before we leave it's gonna be extremely important is a chest and uh yeah right over here construction I think right wooden chest there she is right in front of me and i need to, some more oh man no we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to cra craft up a little bit of stuff here get a couple more planks going that's why i was crafting up some extra planks as we we're going through it so very important and also make sure you have enough firewood that's so important it's the other fuel now once we go later on we'll be make the bc we'll make this nice little wood stove that will cost us less in fire it's more efficient uh, but we need to be able to drop off uh, some boxes and stuff. So it's going to be extremely important to make that up. So next episode, we'll have that up and running. We'll drop her down and place her here. So thank you all for being here. I do appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying us, please take time. Hit the like button. If you're brand new, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for your amazing support. You guys are the best. This is Game Edge, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.